peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes, my beautiful Libras, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may explore all of those beautiful energies that lie from with inside of you. My beautiful Libras, welcome to another edition of Saturn Day Night Live. Uh-huh, it's all the way live. Yeah, it's all the way live, beautiful ones. So let's talk about it. You know, I was thinking about going live, but it's nothing like sitting down with the intimacy of me being in the energy. And when you receive it, it's like you're here with me because that's exactly how it feels, beautiful ones, now. And that's how it is because the energy is here. I'm calling on it. So let's talk about it, beautiful ones. <laughs> Something told me to clean out one of my drawers where I keep metaphysical stuff in. And I found my original makeshifts when I first started the channel. <laughs> okay. I haven't used them probably in about six months or so, right? We're a year in. I haven't used them often because I've been using other ones that I made. But this is the very first makeshift that I made, beautiful ones. And we're going to get into this energy because this was the overall energy that came out. Mm -hmm. Just like this is how it came out. The overall energy. Now the stack from me shuffling, I'm leaving it as it is. And we're going to pull some more. But player comes out, all right? Somebody is a player. Somebody was a player, okay? Uh-huh, in the energy. So we're talking about a player for sure. So let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the shares, the likes, the support, the bookings. I just want to send so much love to you all. And I'm excited for the rest of this year as we grow and really continue to ascend in this energy beautiful ones okay so let's talk about it <laughs> play us <laughs> we are protected <laughs> by my host of angels my ancestors and my spirit guides as i channel these messages let's get into it we are protected and so it is you got player out here something about a player that's broke okay there's a broke player okay a broke player beautiful ones and i try to slow it down but sometimes i speed up because it's murky retrograde and it's a lot going on but the flip side of that is in the poor house someone is in the poor house we got a broke player in the poor house all right I'm, you know, I'm excited to go through these cards because I haven't seen, see, when I made these cards, this is channel messages, okay? They were coming through and to have them re-enter is really in tune with the Mercury retrograde energy that we're having now. So it's like a blast from the past and reminding you of energy that is making its way back as a remembrance because that's what Mercury is about. It's about you remembering the lessons so you can ascend okay uh-huh and it's like a review of it to test you to see how you're going to react in certain circumstances and situations a business owner so somebody's a broke business owner or it could just be a business owner uh-huh someone who is a king of pentacles energy uh-huh yeah looks like i spelled that wrong but yeah okay stripper is here okay somebody may be a stripper somebody may be a stripper in the energy hooker is here they may be a hooker too okay this could be two different individuals but i'm pretty convinced that this is some type of business okay that's gone broke and a player let me see some of these i made double-sided and some of them i just didn't a hoe oh it's a stripper hoe 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, these cards was good. Uh-huh, we got to bring these out more, beautiful ones. So, look, <laughs> Divine Feminine, okay? So, a hooker came out. There's a Divine Feminine that's on the other side. So, we're sure that this is a hooker because it could have came out in a Divine Feminine, but it did not, okay? We're dealing with a stripper, ho, who is broke dealing with players a business owner this could be some type of strip club that's going under or something like that okay business is down is what i'm hearing but for you it's up in this energy okay this is the will of fortune that's the overall energy it, you're it's up libra it's up so some of this may be familiar to you it may not remember only take what is yours if somebody could be broke somebody could be a player somebody could be a business owner they don't have to be a stripper they don't have to be a hooker they could be any one of these things these are people places persons and energies okay that will be relevant to your story remember to take what is yours and to leave what is not if you are interested in a personal booking beautiful ones I still have a few slots open for the Lionsgate portal energy for October. And yeah, get in while you can. Get in where you fit in, beautiful ones. It's been so, so beautiful being able to provide these readings for you and just to really tap in with the energy. I'm so appreciative of you allowing me to be able to support you in that way. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Spirit said one more. Okay. Bam. One more. One more, Spirit. All right. Okay. There we go. So, wow. Somebody needs gas money. That one came out. Somebody could be of American Indian descent. Uh-huh. Wow, I haven't used these in so long. I'm excited. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now to see what came out in the energy, all right? Beautiful ones. Remember to take what is yours and to leave what isn't. Oh, behind player is a cult, okay? So someone could be a cult. This business could even be like a, a front, all right? With a bunch of broke players, uh-huh, that come from a cult. So these cards... Are what's in the energy mental disorder somebody has a mental disorder okay you're dealing with someone who needs to seek the professionals okay James is here the name James may be of significance I just heard Jamal Jamar and Jamila okay hmm Bloodline. Somebody has magic in their bloodline. They come from a bloodline with magicians. Hmm. Okay. Nappy lace front. Some wears, somebody wears one of those nappy wigs. Okay. The lace fronts. Mike. Is here the name Mike, Michael, Miguel, Mitchell, Mark, Marlon, Marvin, Marvin. Okay, that's what I got. Needs gas money. Somebody needs gas money. Somebody could have called you for gas money or asked you for gas money recently. You may be avoiding people who may need gas money is what I'm getting, okay? Car club. Somebody could be in a car club. Somebody likes cars, hot rods. Uh-huh. Yeah. Somebody likes old school classic cars. Healing energy. Someone sees you as a healing energy. You have a healing energy, okay? Yeah, you do first love you're somebody's first love somebody's dealing with someone who's never known love until they met you is what i'm getting okay you're their first love oh okay 
dog lover somebody's a dog lover you could love dogs your person could be a dog lover they could have dogs not everyone that has a pet loves their pet okay let's be real baby mama drama somebody's dealing with baby mama drama in this energy detroit somebody could be a player from detroit detroit player somebody's from detroit earth sign capricorn taurus virgo energy is here poison food drink wow this came out somebody is putting something watch your drink i i think i said this yesterday in one of the readings watch your drinks okay beautiful ones i mean that's like you know rule number one when you go out but some of you have to watch your drinks around people who you think you can trust with your drink around them okay and again american indian somebody could be an american indian okay um royal bloodline and they come from a royal bloodline wow got magic in the blood american indian royal bloodline this is a mix of french creole energy okay this is some type of creole energy is what i'm getting straight off the bat with these three okay mm-hmm healing energy new york is here okay somebody could be from new york and somebody could be from the lgbtq community all right mm, interesting Give me some more energies. Spirit said more. All right. What else, Spirit? All right. One more. These. Okay. Keisha. All right. True love is here. True love. Okay. Keisha could have had a true love. Someone is greedy. They want to let, they want to hold on. To some type of connection but the name keisha could be of significance i don't look on the back of these cards let me make sure they don't say anything forgot which one say something i didn't do all of them like that yeah so we got an air sign this is you okay air sign you come out in your energy beautiful ones you're out here Chicago born. Someone is from Chicago. Chicago born. Born in Chicago. Your parents could be born in Chicago. Hoopty. Somebody has a hoopty. Uh huh. Someone. I heard someone has a hoopty and they could have had a motorcycle. Okay. Uh huh. And they have a hoopty now. Okay. A uh, hoopty is a beat up car, if you remember. One night stand. Somebody has a one night stand, okay? And in the back of this is Louisiana. Somebody could be from Louisiana. Mm. Let's talk about it. Let's go ahead. Let's let's pull some more energy out here. This is interesting. Remember to take what is yours into simply leave what is not beautiful ones welcome to another edition of saturn day night live seems like it's gonna get hot in her uh-huh let's talk about it i'm gonna go ahead and let's pull on hmm let me put these up All right, I got a, I got the the crunchy bag out here, but I have some more energies we're gonna pull along. We haven't used in a few weeks or so. Let's go ahead and get the Evil Eye Oracle out of here. Take off into the energy. So give me cards for Libra. Cards for Libra.
what's leading you to know what's going on in energy for my tribe. Okay. It never fails y'all always get this. Mm. We're going to pull one more. One more spirit. Thank you. What else does we need to know? All right. There we go. Two came out. Look. May have to watch your back. Okay? Yeah. Like you're going to watch your drink. Okay? This is what spirit is telling you. So, you know, don't go overboard. But it's a warning, right? Let's talk about what else is going on. <laughs> Please know. And... Give yourself affirmation. I am protected. I am protected. This is affirmations for you. I am protected. This always comes out for y'all. No matter the oracle, let it flow and let it go. All right? Know that you're protected. Let that energy flow through the universe. Okay? Correspondence, right? And let it go because the universe got you. Forgive, but don't forget. You're being asked to forgive these individuals that may have some type of imaginary problem with you, right? But don't forget, okay? Don't forget. This is this is that, you know, look, they want to be you. They want to be you so bad. It, oh, it just hurt in their soul. They hate their mama. They mad at their mama because they couldn't be you. Woo, that's bad. That's bad. Use your intuition, beautiful ones. Use your intuition, all right? Yeah, and repel that bitch. Yeah, repel them, okay? Yeah, repel that B, okay? So, wow, that's what spirit wants you to know in this energy. It's definitely someone has a problem. I mean, because there's other cards that get, came out, right? <laughs> Let's talk about it. We're going to... See which way forward. Let's get some counsel in the energy with the which way forward. By Shine. Uh-huh. Austria. Shine. She has a YouTube as well on here. Which way forward? These are sold on Etsy. Cards for Libra. Libra. Okay, that's right. What else, spirit? We'll pull a spread, okay? Thank you, spirit. Libra. More cards for Libra. All right. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. All right. Wow. Y'all off the hook. Hey. Mm, mm, mm. Look, your overall energy is the only thing constant is change. Beautiful ones, if you can't bet on nothing, you could bet on some change. All right? Because it's sure to come. Mm. But don't let it break you. Uh-huh. I know that didn't go above y'all head. Don't let change break you, beautiful ones, okay? Let's talk about it because this spread is so lit and it's so beautiful, okay? Because, I mean, this is the communication that is being constantly repeated to you. You got north up. Remember I said this is about the ascending, the energy of you going higher, a higher consciousness, state of mind, bank account, all that, okay? North up. You see how the balloons are taking her away? North up. Mm-hmm. 
This is the energy in which you're flowing in. And you have some questions on a timeline, a guideline, but spirit is telling you soon, okay? Just straight to the point, soon, soon. So that means there's some patience that needs to be required, okay? Yeah, and some of you may need to take a trip to the south, uh-huh, down south. Some of you could be from places like Mississippi, Kentucky, Tennessee, uh-huh, Texas, Louisiana, you know, deep, down, dirty, all parts of the South in America, okay? Those of you that are from the UK in various places, to travel South where bloodline is what I'm getting, uh-huh, is originated, you're being called back to that energy, okay? It's a connection to the South. Yeah, look at this picture, you know, it's pretty dope. But you have a person and a dog going down south, taking a dip in what looks to be like a waterfall type of pool, right? Mm-hmm. A waterfall may be of significance to some of you beautiful ones, okay? Something you saw during travels. Sunset endings, p.m. Things are coming to an end. Uh-huh. The sun is setting. The plane is landing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something is significant about April. Something could have took place in April as well. See this little fuzzy black bunny on the skateboard at the bottom? Yeah. So fun is here. You're being told to have some fun and the energy. And that's what this north up energy reminds me of. This is raising your vibration. Is raising your vibration. Is just raising the overall energy. Fun, okay? Have some fun. Get out there, have some fun. Do something that you know you would enjoy doing. This has a little bit of everything. This is like the circus. You got hot air balloons and it says, do what you love. Do what you love, okay? What is it you love to do? Do you remember what it is you love? Metamorphosis here, because there's a metamorphosis happening in your energy. This is about your transformation, your change. Uh-huh, uh-huh, your change. And North No comes out. <laughs> North No, it literally comes out. Not only are you being told that you're North up, okay? So what you're being told in here is to reach for the stars, right? North up. Even though some of you have this energy of going back to your roots, tra traveling back south is what I'm getting. Uh-huh, because it's like you coming home to self. All right, and it's really that energy of Mercury retrograde showing up, okay? This is like remembering the past into the future as you ascend going up. And then you have the compass out here with North Node. Just This is your North Node. You're ascending in this energy. You're at a higher vibration of consciousness, okay? Yeah, you are. And getting lost on purpose you're being told to get lost on purpose go find somewhere go find yourself okay and it's okay to find yourself get lost on purpose be the only one out there doing something different okay go out on a limb is what i just heard go out on a limb i love this energy I, libra i love this energy for y'all for the tribe okay and remember, your overall energy is the only thing constant is change. That's the only thing you can depend on to happen, beautiful ones, for sure. For sure, all right? There are other things, but it's all going to come with change because that's what energy does on a regular basis. It changes. It's those who master themselves to be in a state of consistency with who they are that that change finds its balance. And you're 
very, very lucky and fortunate, Libra, to have that natural balance from within yourself already, okay? It's about you mastering it, okay? It's all about you mastering it. Let's talk about it some more. Let's go ahead and pull on some of these here. Emotions. I'm going to get some emotions, okay? Mm-hmm. Let's get some emotions. And tonight, we'll use the... We'll use the Secrets of Paradise, Tarot. Let me pull it out. Yeah, we'll use the Secrets of Paradise. I feel like after that All Signs, oh my goodness, that All Signs is long. Beautiful ones, be sure to cross watch, okay? This is your time to become a cross watcher. It's literally me putting all the energy in one, okay? For you all to watch whatever it is that's in your chart and really understand yourself more on a astronomical level, right? Yeah, because metaphysically speaking, you are whatever is in those houses and it has bearings on what exactly you exude of, what exists from what's inside of you, okay? And I love it. I love it, okay? It was, you know, fun for me to even do that. But I know how I'm going to break it up now because just going straight, 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 that don't even make no sense. My goodness. You be going talk, to talk so much. Talk yourself straight to sleep. I know readers after they do a full 12 Zodiac read, they got to go lay down. <laughs> and shut up, right? My goodness, that's a lot of energy. Give me a second, beautiful ones. I'm going to put these back in the cards. The makeshift, all oh, the return of this makeshift was something else. I love the energy. Look, I split the deck in order to put them back in their two different boxes. And 1111 reset. There's a, you could be seeing 1111. Uh huh. There's definitely a reset in the energy, okay? So that's what we're going to be tapping into. We're going to tap into this 1111 energy. Mm-hmm. Blast from the past is what I'm hearing. I'm just going to get these together. And we'll get into these true emotions. Spirit. Energy for my beautiful Libras. Energy for my beautiful Libras. Welcome to another edition of... Saturday Night Live. What you sipping on? What are y'all sipping on, beautiful ones? I just got some water right now. Mm-hmm. My client brought me bought me a nice bottle of red wine. I'm so tempted to drink it, but I haven't had wine in maybe beautiful ones. I haven't had any wine maybe in about 15 years. I kid you not. It started to make me feel some type of way. Just even, you know, trying to drink light. Something about the fermentation of the wine. So I have to drink really, really good wines if I'm going to drink some. But this is a nice bottle she got me. I may try it after all these years. I'm almost scared. <laughs> All right, thank you, Spirit. Ten of Wands is here. There's some type of burdens happening in this energy. Somebody trying to find somewhere to put them things down. Yeah. Mmm, judgment. Down to judgment in this energy. Let's talk about it. I'm going to pull the true emotionals at the end because Spirit just has me pulling these, okay? Yeah, we'll do the true emotionals at the end. Or even in between. I'm going to incorporate them in between today. Switch it up a little bit for you all. Uh-huh. Ace of Cups is here. Uh-huh. Ooh, the sun came out in reverse. I'm going to take it like that. Sun in reverse, y'all. 
Somebody is depressed, unhappy. You got a queen of pentacles out here. Mm-hmm. What else, spirit? Tell the story from my Libra. Tell the story. Oh. Wow. We got one that just flew on the floor. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to put it back in a stack, but it did fly out first. It was the first one to come out. So we'll look at it. And it is a four of swords, okay? Mm -hmm. So somebody's retreating. This could be you, okay? I'm getting that. Look, you relaxing right about now. You're tapping into some relaxation, Libra. Give me a second. Beautiful ones, I'm trying to locate. Oh, here it goes. Thank you. Trying to locate my phone. <sighs> okay. It is a Saturn Day Night Live. And any other time, I would have some tunes on. So let's go ahead and put some on for the energy. All right, beautiful ones. Okay, let's talk about it. This energy is something else. Ten of Wands is out here. These burdens. Yeah. You got someone that is under judgment. And you got some real love, some true love. Somebody's been gifted with the energy of a higher love, okay? This is a high-level love, okay? In the energy. You have this sun that's in reverse. Somebody is depressed right now. They're isolating in the energy. They're in the overall energy of... Um, Possibly needing to seek some type of therapy, some type of help is what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody's depressed in this energy. A queen of pentacles is out here. This is a mother figure. A mother figure of some sort is in the energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Who is a possible wife or could have a business or just is good with handling the pinnacles you have el bobo that's here el bobo is the fool uh-huh it's in the beginning you got the dame of pinnacles that's here and this is an old broad a possible virgo capricorn taurus energy that keeps practicing their craft over and over again because they want to, you know, continue to get better and better at it. They want to make sure that it works, okay? Yeah, so she she practices her dance and she's done it for many a years. Many, many of years. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles that's out here. And this Ten of Pentacles energy is about somebody's dynasty, somebody's empire that has been blessed, blessed, approved by the ancestors, okay? This is a what is seen as an angel in the background, you would think 
a family member of some sort and it is it's the ancestors and they're dressed in white like an angel and they are here because they approve of this union that's here to build a legacy together okay it's as if someone comes from a bloodline where the ancestors are approving a union okay this is that ten of pentacles energy so Look, when we're talking about building a legacy or building any type of um, business in itself, because we do have a Queen of Pentacles energy out here, right? Although I don't feel like this is your energy, I feel like this is a visitor, okay, in the energy. And we'll find out who this is. But the Ten of Pentacles, this is about something that is really written in the stars to be built up a certain way with a certain uh caliber okay uh-huh let's talk about it give me overall energy is the four of cups now this four of cups energy this is really someone in this energy of being disinterested uh-huh being bored with the whole get down this is like you know you probably it's probably hard to even please this energy at the time okay if you look this is a mother and you know, a mother buying her son a snow cone and he's like pissed off with his arms folded. Like, I don't want it. His back is turned the whole nine. You know, a spoiled brat type of energy is what I'm getting. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Give me the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more. All right, this one. Uh -huh, five of Swords. Okay, yeah. I felt like she was a visitor, like I said. Five of Swords is here. So this is somebody who, you know, wants to win at all costs. Uh-huh. Someone else in the energy, they felt like they had to compete against you. Someone was very jealous in this energy, okay? They could have water in their chart. Uh-huh, that's what I'm getting. Because there's a crab in this picture. You see? Mm. And in the background is barrels of pentacles. And they're spilling over. I'm hearing that a lot of money is wasted by this energy, okay? You see the crab right here? It could be a water sign energy, okay? Could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in the energy. There are five of swords energy here, okay? You could live at a distance from this energy. Or a King of Cups could live at a distance from this energy. Why is give me the five of swords with this Queen of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Five of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles. Alright. Mm, yeah, somebody was juggling in this energy. They didn't know if they wanted reggaeton or salsa. Two of Pentacles is here. This is the DJ. Uh-huh. And he's putting things in the mix. He's juggling things. He could have tried to juggle a Queen of Wands energy. Someone who is sophisticated and beautiful and you know mrs cool is what i'm getting five of cups somebody is feeling some type of way some regret they're smiling for the crowd but hurting inside is what i got in this energy hmm give me this ten of wands energy ten of wands all right okay it came out in the reverse the Six of Cups came out in the reverse. So look, it's a burden. Someone is going through some burdens. Okay. Someone is going through some burdens when it comes to one, not being organic is what I'm getting on the back of his shirt. It says organico. Okay. So you don't get burdens from being real. You actually 
when you have these wands on your back, mm. look, this is the Six of Cups that's here. You see on the back of his shirt, it says Organico. Uh-huh. But I'm looking at his wands versus the ones that are growing. His wands are brown, almost as if they're old and outdated, right? Like they're no good. They're not fresh. Uh-huh. So what I'm getting is that this is old burdens on their back. But they walk around in this energy as if they're being organic. But they got all these old burdens that are on their back. And they come out for this energy, the Six of Cups in reverse. This is someone who doesn't want to grow up. Someone who doesn't want to let go of the past. And they got nothing but burdens on their back. Outdated old burdens. Because everything that's growing, these wands, this bamboo... Okay, sugar cane, whatever it is, okay, it's not sweet because his wands are brown and the ones that grow around the path that they're walking are sweet, they're green, they're fresh. Mm, very interesting observation and then the overall energy is a death. Now, either somebody going through a rebirth or they done been put down, okay? Something ended in this energy. Mm-hmm. These Indians have a visitor on their head. Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me the judgment. Thank you. Wow. The goddess is out here. This is the empress. You got an empress that's calling judgment, okay? Judgment is here on behalf of the empress. American Indian came out in the reading. Someone definitely is of American Indian descent, okay? Doesn't have to be for everyone, but you know, for those who know their bloodline. The goddess is out here. This is the empress. You could be from royalty as well, right? A royal bloodline who is a nine of cups energy. Now, this nine of cups energy, this is someone who is getting their wishes fulfilled. And they have many of choices. It's all type of things in the cup, right? You got a matcha. You got a latte. You got cappuccino. You got espresso. You got it all on here. And... She has her choice. All the cups are filled. Mm-hmm. And that's the goddess out here. Give me the ace of cups for Libra. So you're out here getting your cups filled is what I'm getting, okay? And there's definitely this energy of someone who was childish in your energy, didn't want to grow up. Wow, look. Judgment is here for the goddess because of the seven of swords. This sneaky theft, this treacherousness. Someone trying to take off with all your stuff. Yeah, because they didn't have any discipline. Yeah, they didn't have any discipline. Discipline is one of the extra cards in this tarot. And they're left out in the cold now because they had no discipline. This is someone who is, you know, financially hurting right now. They need gas money. Uh-huh. I heard they, they need milk. Let's talk about it. Give me the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups for Libra. Okay. Seven of Wands. So there's some type of blockage, okay? Are you even feeling like you need to protect someone with this Ace of Cups energy? Look, the Ace of Cups, this is a, a gift from the Most High. This is that pearl from the sky, okay? Uh-huh. 
that's a lot of love and energy that's being given to you you get being given love from the universe and it could come through the form of a partnership okay romantic as well this is about a new beginning in love period however that love come it could be multitudes of the ways that it could come right but the seven of wands is here i feel like something is being either protected are blocked all right the overall energy is a ace of pentacles so this is also a new beginning at prosperity and abundance and you got three of wands here this is harmony this is moving forward possible um overseas traveling over body of water this could be somebody who's long distance the energy of long distance give me the seven of wands with this ace of cups energy seven of wands Thank you. All right. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. This is about your, you being in this energy, being self-sufficient. And there's a tower that happened. Wow. So look, this is someone who creates their own luxuries in this energy. Okay. There's a tower that happened. Something in the energy was protected. This Ace of Cups energy, there was a protection over it. And... A tower came, but it's a good tower is what I'm getting. This tower is, you know, when change happens, okay? Yeah, this is when, this isn't people being thrown out the window. No, this isn't that. This is something completely different. This tower is being created by the Most High. It's as if the gods are together working out this energy to create a stable secure environment for yourself okay changing up the energy for you okay you're in a nine of pentacles energy this is uh energy of knowing that you okay and you'll continue to be in this energy because this top this tower changed some things okay it did the overall energy is the four of pentacles this is holding on to your energy. Someone is holding on in the energy. This is someone who is also a manipulator of energy too is what I'm getting from this, okay? This is some type of performer, some type of person that wears a mask and they perform to the music. So it's kind of like, you know, uh, make them dance type of energy is what I'm getting. This, you know, dance to the beat of someone else's drum instead of theirs is what I'm getting with this picture, uh-huh, the way it's pictated. And this is some Two of Swords energy. This is somebody who's double-minded in the energy. Give me the Nine of Pentacles in this tower, Spirit. Give me the Nine of Pentacles with the tower. Thank you. For my Libra. It's B. All right. A Temperance Angel, okay? So there's a temperance angel energy. This is a waterfall. So I'm getting that as some type of healing, some type of emotions being shared in this energy. But this is temperance angel. This is about moderation and balance, all right? Someone is in their head. They are. Eight of Swords is the overall energy. Temperance angel. So there's some moderation some balance that came with the support of the ancestors right with this nine of pentacles energy after this tower came this is that good tower uh-huh and the love has been protected all along you could even feel like you have a protection over you when it comes to a new beginning at love okay a new feeling like realizing what's real and what's not that's what the ace of cups is it's a new feeling as well all right give me this someone is depressed the sun is in reverse someone is definitely you know isolating themselves going through a state of depression uh-huh people around them can see this energy and they know they know this person hasn't been the same since you left their energy. Wow, this is the King of Cups, okay? It's someone that, look, they have a pearl in their hand too. It's a black pearl. Mmm. Water sign. 
King of Cups. This is someone. This is a. This is a gentle man. Okay. Overall energy is the lovers. All right. They see you as a choice. Queen of Swords. Okay. Overall energy. They see the Queen of Swords as a choice. Mm-hmm. I split the deck. A Nine of Wands is here. They could possibly want to come in passionately and come towards you because they've tapped into some wisdom. The three wise men, they could have even spoken to some one, got some counsel, or even just counsel with themselves, okay? And look how this King of Cups energy is riding in on this shark, okay? Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. So, why is the King of Cups, why is the sun in reverse for the King of Cups, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. It's too many, but the God came out, okay? But it's way too many. Came out funny. Healing, okay? There's a King of Cups that is healing. Uh-huh. Could have gone through some type of depression. Sound bowl healing. They could be getting some metaphysical healing, looking into some more holistic ways to heal, okay? They could be getting a spiritual cleansing is what I'm hearing as well. Mm-hmm. I heard that one is needed. They definitely see you as a lover. Queen of Swords energy. They see you as a Nine of Cups energy. And there's a King of Wands that's here as well. Mm. Connected to it. Mm. Okay, give me the elbow bow. Thank you. Wow, that's a lot of energy. Spirit is trying to make me take all of this. Spirit, just one. Okay, all right. I'll take these three. Gave me three. Wow, and they're all in reverse. Oh, Bobo is here. This is a new beginning, right? And when it comes to this leap of faith energy, there's a four of wands that's in the reverse. This is somebody, look, this is what people have to look forward to in this energy. All right, and we'll clarify who this is, but the four of wands is in the reverse, okay? Somebody could be from the LGBT community as well, right? This is it in the upright. These are two men. Mm-hmm. Someone could be from the bi community, but you have it in reverse. This is an unstable foundation. This is somebody's foundation. They don't have one, okay? And this is what they got to look forward to. It's because they took a chance in somebody's energy. They took a chance and they ended up with the four of wands in reverse. A princess of cups. This is a water sign energy. Someone who is either young or acts young or childlike or childish, okay? They're a princess. They're not a queen. And they're in reverse, okay? So we know what that is. That's emotionally unstable and just... I mean, imagine, you know, when you don't have control or you haven't mastered yourself yet because you're stuck in this youthful, immature energy. And we see that up here, okay? Somebody doesn't want to grow up because they're a Toys R Us kid, okay? With the Six of Cups energy. So there's a childish water sign energy, possible Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, who is a two of swords energy in reverse, okay? So what I'm what I'm getting is this energy of the princess, okay, of cups, all right, who's in the reverse. This is someone who is there insecure first of all this is the energy the queen of cups when she's in reverse she's insecure 
Uh huh. So imagine being younger and young minded or, you know, this could even be somebody older, but they're just childish. They don't want to grow up in the energy. OK, this is somebody who's fragile. Like if you speak the truth to this energy in any form or fashion, this energy will lose it. They don't they can't handle the truth. OK, they have emotional distance. Okay, so they can't connect easily with their emotions, okay? It's hard for them to connect with their emotions. That's what I'm getting. And then they came out with the two of swords in reverse, beautiful ones. This is telling me that this is a manipulative energy. They manipulate everybody and everything around them. They're indecisive. They can't make up their mind. They, this is a stalemate energy too. This is also someone who creates stalemate energies because they have a block intuition, okay? They have a block intuition. That's the two of swords. And it's the princess of cup out here off the hook, okay? Now, they're worried about a nine of cups energy. Somebody's wishes fulfilled when it comes to a lover, a choice, okay? Give me this princess of pentacles with the two of swords princess of pentacles with the two of swords thank you a dame of swords okay so look this energy is worried about the dame of swords this is your energy you're the dame of swords and you're heavily watched after these eyes on the door represents the ancestors that watch over you okay and this is you doing your thing yeah, you're the dame of swords out here. So there's someone just really caught up in their head when it comes to you. You out here, you're the truth, overall energy. You're bringing the truth. You're telling the truth. You're the dame of swords. You out here just saying what it is, okay? And somebody feels some type of way about that. It's the princess. It's this immature energy that doesn't want to grow up in the energy, okay? 56, 56 when I looked at the timer, okay? Yeah, 5656 five, six will have some significance on this read. More energy to tell you more about, you know, this energy between the Dame of Swords and the Princess of Pentacles. But you out here speaking the truth. You doing what it is you do, all right? Because you out here discipline. You got discipline when you practice your two-step. Uh-huh, you do. And it's clarity about who is disciplined and who is childish in the energy. That's what I'm getting. I split the deck. Page of Wands. This is new creations. You're out here creating new things. And other people can't create nothing because they got to block intuition. Their intuition is blocked. They can't even follow the leader. Okay? Let's talk about it. Give me the Dame of Pentacles. Dame of Pentacles, Spirit. Thank you. There's some old dame out here up to their old tricks is what I'm hearing, okay? Three of Pentacles, yeah. Collaborating with others to play the tricks. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is. Three of Pentacles is here. They collaborated with others to play these games and these tricks, and now they can't sleep at night. They can't sleep at night. I heard no rest for the wicked. Nine of swords. They're going through a lot of anxiety and stress in this energy. Ah, <laughs> they should have stepped into this energy of the three wise men. Mm-hmm. They could even be trying to seek some counsel to tell you the truth, okay? And somebody could be put on some bed rest or be out right about now. Stress, time off, work is what I'm healing. He healing, yeah. Is But I'm hearing it too, okay? Someone could be permanently put out of work is what I'm getting as well, okay? Give me the three of pentacles. Tell us about this collaboration with this old dame. I mean, that's not her name, but she's the dame of pentacles, all right? Six of swords, okay? This is moving forward in the energy. Ah, uh, okay, so this is this energy wants to move forward to calmer waters away from these three of pentacles energy. And she works with a dark high priestess to do this, okay? The high priestess here, but this is the high priest that practices um on a level that 
might seem un unorthodox, okay? Mm-hmm, the high priest. Someone that's behind some type of corrupt money. I I'm just getting that. The Ace of Pentacles is here with this high priest energy. I want to look into this high priest energy. And I want to read the book for him again. I know I have before, but I just want to go over this energy. He's a major arcana in this deck. Welcome to another edition, beautiful ones, of Saturn Day Night, all the way live. Be all the way live, beautiful ones. Okay, so the high priest represents authority and leadership. He is a religious person, one committed to sacred path to a sacred path. However, he can also be a controlling figure. When you draw this card, you may be seeking guidance from someone with experience. With the high priest, you must use your intuition. And look, when people got black intuition, they can't use their intuition, okay? This is what I'm getting, all right? With the high priest, you must use your intuition and the other cards you draw to determine if the person or situation can be trusted or not. Are they in a spiritual leadership position because that is what they truly love? Or are they there to gain power and take advantage of others? The pagan rosary around his neck bellies a deep faith in the divine and it denotes putting a spiritual path ahead of one's areas of life. This can be positive unless it becomes an obsession as extremes are unhealthy, okay? And that's exactly what I got from this energy, okay? So someone in this energy seek counsel from who they consider as being wise men in the energy, okay? Yeah, to move forward. So look, this is what you're getting. You got a Dame of Pentacles energy. This is an earth sign. Some old broad who practices their craft and doesn't want to give up at it, right? They are dealing with this collaboration of a Three of Pentacles of energies that basically they're like a ringleader in this stupidity is what I'm getting. Because this, they don't strike me as anyone bright in this energy. And I say that because <laughs> she's the she would be considered a jester because she's dancing and these other three individuals are playing the beat. Again, we had a masculine energy who was dancing to the beat of someone else's drums and that four of, um, I think it was the four of Pentacles energy. And then in the three of Pentacles, it's still four energies, but it's someone else that is dancing to the beat of three other drums, all right, in order to move forward. And so they consult with the dark priest, okay, to get some type of guidance when it comes to the ace of Pentacles in order to get more money, right? Uh huh. And this Knight of Wands energy is here, and they're rushing right behind it, okay? So it's like the dumb leading the deaf and the deaf leading the blind okay i mean like you know you get what i'm saying and the seven of pentacles is here this they invested in this okay Ooh, that breakdown was something else but yeah follow me all right give me the ten of pentacles spirit somebody was getting guidance from a dark a cult leader, cult came out. That's the truth, okay? That is the truth. Clarity is here. Ace of Swords. This energy of the Ten of Pentacles, like I said, the ancestors came in this energy to really ordain it, okay? It's the truth. This is a true union, all right? And it's one that is coming with discipline. It's a disciplined energy. It's as if 
everything is in divine timing is what I'm getting. I split the deck. The high priest is here. It's what I'm getting. Everything is in divine timing. Mm, and this is the truth. Give me the ace of swords. Ace of swords. Yeah, somebody was getting guidance. Now, flip the switch just for your energy. But somebody was getting guidance from some type of cult leader or somebody who seems to be a fake minister or priest of some sort, okay? Eight of Wands is here. And this is a message, okay? Somebody wants to come through with some clarity. A message for a princess of swords, okay? Now, this is your energy. Beautiful ones. And this is you in a youthful energy. But when you open your fan in this energy... I want to read the Princess of Swords for you all, okay? Check her out. But you mean business when you open this fan up. Uh-huh. People are stuck on you and your energy is what I'm getting. Let me find the Princess of Swords. De la Familia. Okay, let's see. So, Princess of Swords. This Panamanian folklore dancer wears a palero, pronounced palero, <laughs> the typical dress at this historical site, which is called the Panama La Veja are the old Panama. She possesses a Spanish fan to use as a prop for dancing. Do not underestimate this person as they can seem to be totally inoffensive, but can strike a sharp, fast move at any time. Planning and observing is important, but communicating is even more important. Stay curious as you continue to explore new ideas and learn. You are enthusiastic and passionate. You also know how to learn from your slip ups. Mm -hmm. Learning lessons. In this particular case, the way the Spanish fan is open completely towards her and with the thumb outside means that she is not ready to cut anything out yet. She is telling someone in the audience, Espereme, or wait for me. You are a great public speaking. However, not everyone will agree with you. This can lead you to stop sharing your knowledge. So believe in your skill. Do not make promises you are not able to keep. Be there and be on time. You are great at public speaking. Beautiful ones, you have a natural gift when it comes to public speaking. And you're being told in this energy, you know, basically you're sharp with it, okay? And you can strike a move at any time. You're fast, you're swift in this energy, all right? This is why, this is the youthful energy that is about you, all right? But you're also being told, because you know how to learn from your mistakes, that you can use your gifts. But make sure when you use your gifts, that you stay authentic, organic, okay, to yourself. Believe in your skill. And don't make promises you can't keep, all right? Uh-huh. Don't Just don't make promises that don't have any intention behind them. Things happen. We understand that. But, yeah, it's something about this energy that you just true. You true to what it is that someone look she hasn't decided to cut anyone out just yet is what i'm getting so there's someone in the energy and it could be this king of cups energy that's up here healing you have not decided to cut this energy out yet now for those of you that have this king of cups in your energy on your timeline now currently you understand that they're healing in this energy uh-huh Give me the Eight of Wands because there is some type of communication. Wow, this flipped over instantly. 
with everything else, with all of these, is three of them. And I'm going to take them. Okay? Eight of Wands is here. This is about communication and fast changes that happen in the energy, okay? And this has to do with truth and clarity. Someone's seeing things, you know, clear in the energy when it comes to the lovers, okay? Who is a queen of swords. But this king of wands is following this queen of swords energy. I mean, look. What's this overall energy? A ten of cups. Somebody wants a ten of cups. So look, you could be dealing with a king of wands energy they could have a fire placement and they see the ten of cups with you domestic happiness harmony they see you as a you're the goddess i mean you're the empress that's already out here ace of wands they want a new beginning with a high priestess energy somebody could have pisces in their chart as well and the will of fortune is here Give me the Eight of Wands with the Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands with the Ace of Swords, Spirit. Thank you. For my Libra. All right. <laughs> my goodness. It's the Queen of Damn Cups. It's the Queen of Cups. The Queen to the King. So the King of Cups wants to get a message to you or there's big changes happening in the energy when it comes to a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups flip and switch these energies. But this is a mutual love. This is I love you too. That's what I just heard. I love you too. Someone is in a Four of Swords, again, retreating, healing. And this could even be you thinking at night switching out your fans look these are you see these three beautiful fans that are on the dresser i'm just really noticing taking and your sleep with a fan too yeah definitely some retreating and i'm getting some manifesting in this energy for a queen of cups so you could be in this Queen of Wands energy, just, you know, feeling, wow, in your power, Yamaya. The star is here. You could be just this confident energy who's seen as a beautiful star-like energy to your person, okay? And this is the Knight of Cups. This is somebody with an emotional offer. Uh-huh. Eight of Pentacles wants to build, okay, in the energy, because they see you as a Nine of Cups, a wish fulfillment. If somebody has been stressed about this energy with the Nine of Swords being behind that Nine of Cups I just saw. Give me this mm, crazy ride, beautiful ones. How's the healing with the King of Cups? Give me the healing. Give me the healing. This, your person is healing. And vice versa. Your person or this is you. Both of you all are retreating to some degree, okay? That's what I'm getting because changes are happening. Look, the Nine of Cups is here. This is wishes. You're getting your wishes fulfilled in this energy. You are. Six of Pentacles. This is reciprocity. Equal give and take. This is balance. In the energy, this is knowing how to give, being disciplined. Uh huh. Mm, let's put the deck. La Luna is here. There's some things hidden in the energy, okay? Pisces energy, high priestess. You're not saying anything about what it is you know in this energy. You're keeping some things to yourself. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Give me the six of swords moving forward. This La Luna. Okay, look. Hold on, let me close the door. Somebody's 
pulling up with the party. Uh -huh, channel message. These signs are truly channel messages. This Saturday night. Excuse me, beautiful ones. Okay. So, La Luna is here. This is the moon energy. And this Princess of Pentacles energy, I mean, this Dane, uh huh, who collaborated her and her cronies, okay? Her and her cult, or whatever this is, right? There's a bunch of hidden secrets, illusions in this energy. And someone gave them an illusion this is what i'm getting they got fed an illusion on how to get by how to get further in life how to get to the other side is what i'm getting look the overall energy is the temperance i mean the temptation this is the devil in this card okay so they took guidance from the devil and that's why that high priest energy came out they got guidance from the devil uh-huh and they knew they were getting guidance from the devil because this is where they get their guidance from. It's what I'm getting. And it left them in the five of cups. Broke. Uh-huh. Yeah. Somebody took their money. These are some fools. Five of cups. They regret this. They do. Because the universe is on that ass. Uh-huh. The universe is here. The ten of cups, wherever it is they live, that foundation right there is Ace of Wands, they wanted a new beginning and they want to just leave it all behind. Eight of Cups energy. They want to go towards something. This is someone who wanted to go towards something better in life. This is someone that's like, I want a new car. I'm going to worship this deity. I want a new house. You know, this is that energy. This is what we're dealing with in the energy, okay? Now, this isn't going to be for everybody, but y'all get the gist of it. Somebody got the wrong guidance, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, here you are, this Nine of Cups energy having it your way. You the Queen of Cups out here, okay? And your king is healing. Both of you two are kind of mirroring. This is a mirroring of the energy. You're retreating. You're having it your way. You, you got choices, okay? Your person is healing in, in this energy of coming out of some type of depression. Give me the healing for the King of Cups. He healing for the King of Cups. Give me this energy. Possible Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, right? We can switch these energies because the Queen of Cups is the same. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, right? Oh, it's a lot going on with your person, okay? Your person could be grieving okay they could have gone through some temptations of their own all right uh-huh they could have been tempted all right in this energy but this is the five of cups energy that's here and they feel left out in having some look this is regrets this is some loss this is like that crying over spilled milk energy and remember the princess of swords this energy right here she hasn't really decided to cut anyone out particularly okay in this energy remember i read her energy and she came out so someone is you know feeling some regret and some loss when it comes to a princess of sword uh-huh she was your overall energy and they could be in their head about her on top of dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with because this eight of swords is being Entrapped in your head, this is a mental imprisonment that you actually create for yourself through it could come through depression. I'm not a psychologist, okay? I'm not a clinical psychologist, however, you know, seek from the experts any uh, medical attention you may need for any mental health issues. Beautiful ones, four of pinnacles is here. This is someone who's holding on. They're holding on to this energy. And you're doing the same because you're the queen of swords. I mean, you bust in swift, quick moves, but you haven't decided to cut anything out just yet. And there's a lot of passion between the both of you is what I'm getting. 
Mm -hmm, it is. Ten of Cups. Someone sees you as home. Domestic harmony and happiness in this energy. They do. Because they want a new beginning in this energy. Wow. Beautiful ones. Let's pull some emotionals. I'll split the deck to the King of Pentacles, all right? Behind the King of, King of Pentacles is the Page of Wands and the Chariot. This is Earth, Fire, and Water. And the King of Sw Swords is Air, all elements. Look, you're dealing with a God-like energy. This, this is the Divine Masculine that's what I'm getting because they have all of these characteristics from within inside themselves. They could be dealing with some heartbreak as well. Tell us more about the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles they're holding on to in this energy. Tell us more about the King of Cups in this energy of the Four of Pentacles spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it looks to me like, you know, you had a... Someone from the past who tried to juggle you, and they're, look, you got the Ace of Pentacles that flipped over and the Page of Wands. This is a new beginning, that prosperity, new ideas, new creation in the energy. This is what this King of Cups energy thinks about, okay? Uh-huh. They worry about their future, and they want to secure abundant future overall energy they have to put a death to some things you know there's someone in the energy four cups energy whom somebody can feel like something ended they have to end something in the energy this is strength they were up against some odds definitely they were dealing with their own situation in this energy Definitely this person invest in their future is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. And they have all of these different characteristics of who they are. This temperance angel with this ace of cups energy with a nine of pentacles. Uh-huh. That tower that had to happen, okay? Remember, this love is protected with the seven of wands energy. Give me the temperance. Give me the temperance because there's a balance being made in this energy it is we got two cards to come out <laughs> and here's the balance reciprocity for the two of cups beautiful ones oh my goodness this is a divine union two of cups this is cancer energy more earth energy virgo taurus capricorn energy this is reciprocity this is things being made balance this is equal give and take share love all of that okay abundance with a divine union and that's what's being balanced out in the energy beautiful ones let's talk about it some more let's get some of these emotional true emotionals all right beautiful ones happy happy saturn day night yeah let's talk about it wow what a beautiful energy so you got somebody from the past they stuck right now and they mad about it and you got somebody's ex who's obsessed over you just as obsessed as your ex is okay they can't get over you i mean you would think you were in bed with all of them okay lgbt came out so that could have some significance on the story their girlfriend woman or wife could want you for real okay vice versa somebody's husband could want your man okay my man my man my man you know whatever that energy is like you know what i'm talking about we're dealing with people who are obsessing over the empress the goddess okay uh-huh because you got a king and queen of cups energy of a divine union a two of cups energy that is all of in your energy and people are wondering how does she, he do it how does she do it okay yeah you do it by minding your business and not others okay you do it by not being jealous and hateful and spiteful and envious okay let's talk about it 
overall energy. You do it by having more love and less hate around you. This is a love and hate. This is what it is for these individuals. They actually love you, but they love to hate you because they're so jealous. Okay? Let's see what else they're doing in the energy before we close out, beautiful ones. What are these jealous fellas doing in the energy of the Libra? Hmm. Let's find out. You close a cycle. Closing this cycle. That's what you did. And they can't get enough of you because they stuck. They're stuck. They're literally stuck in the past with burdens. And it's a Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody's baby mama. Yeah, they stuck. And it's too late. It's too late for these energies. It's too late, okay? Somebody says, no, never too late. And Spirit is saying, it's too late. Believe me, trust me. Goodbye, uh-huh, goodbye. Whatever it is they was trying, they can try again. And they'll be more stucker is what I'm hearing, okay? Stupid stuff. Because that's where they're at right now. You're turning your back on all of this. You don't have, you're not worried about it, okay? And there's some secrets here, but who gives a shit, okay? Keep it a secret. Secret sex addi addiction, okay? It's not a secret anymore, okay? So beautiful ones, if you didn't know, the secret is out that your person had a sex addiction, okay? And they probably want to out them and tell them, but you already know this. They're fake busy. These people have nothing but time on their hands and smut on their hands too. They're fake busy. And they're running. They're running from healing is what I'm getting. They're running from healing. You could be running away from these energies too. Running off in a sunset with your king and queen of cups self. All right? Mirroring. And you two are mirroring one another in this energy. Because you totally are. Because that's what came out in the energies. Beautiful ones. This is Empress 444. And thank you for coming by the dynasty. I'll be back in the energy tomorrow. I'll be preparing your weekly forecast report as well as tapping in. We'll probably have some tea in the morning. Have a beautiful night, my beautiful ones. Peace and love. Don't forget to hit the like button and share. Share this beautiful energy, beautiful ones. Let another Libra know about this metaphysical channel so that they can be over here in their north node ascending higher. Uh-huh. Like the Libra. Peace and love, beautiful ones.